In the previous three videos, we provisioned our gateway switch and access point into Central and configured three local area networks. In this video, we'll provision two more WAN links, secondary internet and an LTE backup. Starting in the Network Operations Center, navigate to the branch group in the context filter. Click on Devices, select the Gateways tab and click on Config. Make sure you are in Advanced mode and click on the Interface tab, then the VLAN tab. We're going to provision a VLAN to be used for our secondary internet connection. Click on the newly created VLAN and select it again further down. Enable routing. Our internet provider runs DHCP, so that'll be our IP assignment method. We'll also enable NAT and set our MTU size. Click on Save Settings and select the Ports tab. Click on the plus sign and add port GE2 to the config. Click on the newly added port to edit. Change port type to WAN and set access VLAN to match our newly created VLAN. Click on Save Settings. Select the WAN tab and click on the plus sign to add our newly set up port to the list of available uplinks. Change the link type to Internet. Give it a name. Specify the VLAN and link speed and click on Save Settings. Now both of our internet links are up and operational. You'll notice load balancing is enabled by default and that there are three modes to choose from. Round Robin, which sequentially distributes traffic among all active WAN uplinks. Session Count, which takes in consideration the number of active sessions on each uplink and tries to keep them balanced. And lastly, Uplink Utilization, which chooses the uplink with the lowest bandwidth utilization percentage. Uplink Utilization is the recommended method, especially if you have uplinks with different speeds. We'll select it and click on Save Settings. Let's move on to the Health Check tab. Health checks are used to determine uplink availability. When the defined health check host is not reachable over a WAN uplink, the default gateway associated with the WAN uplink is removed from the gateway's routing table, thus preventing traffic being sent over the affected link. Aruba provides a free internet health check service at pqm.arubanetworks.com and it supports both ICMP and UDP probe types. You can set your own remote host to be used for health checks, but please note that using public DNS servers such as Google is not recommended as they throttle ICPM requests during peak hours. We'll use the Aruba service and UDP probe type. Click on Save Settings. Let's navigate to our office site and click on Topology. You can see our secondary internet connection has been configured and that it's active. Now we're going to set up an LTE connection to be used as a backup WAN link. I've already installed the nano SIM into slot 1 as described in these diagrams. A SIM ejector needle is included with your gateway. Please note, even though the gateway has two SIM slots, only one of them can be active at any given time. Navigate to our group in the context filter. Click on Devices, select the Gateways tab and click on Config. Click on the WAN tab and then the plus sign to add another uplink. Select link type as LTE and give it a name. Connection type will be internal as we're using the built-in LTE model on this 9004 LTE gateway and we'll select the SIM1 slot as that's where we installed our SIM card. Enter your provider APN. You can specify the data alert limit to be notified if you exceed this threshold during your monthly billing cycle. The gateway will automatically select VLAN 4095 for use with the LTE interface. We will check Use as a backup link only as we want to use this uplink only if our other internet links are down. Set our speed setting and click on Save. To test out the WAN load balancing and failover, we'll run a continuous ping from our laptop connecting to our corporate network. Change to list view and click on your gateway. Click on WAN in the context menu to view the WAN link status summary. We can see that both of our internet connections are up and that LTE is down as it's configured to be used as a backup only. Let's start our ping. and then unplug our primary internet. Now, let's unplug our secondary internet connection. It takes a few seconds for our LTE link to come up online and we're back in business. Let's navigate to the office site and select topology. Here we can see all three of our uplinks with primary and secondary internet showing us down. In our next video, we'll cover some basic security configurations for our network.
For more how-to videos, please visit phoenixpro.club. Please click like and subscribe to stay up to date with all our latest content. Thank you for watching.